Happy Friday, everybody. So I figured I would do another what's cooking. What's cooking, Allie. Um, tonight we are going to have shrimp Alfredo Whoa. with my, my little sous chef up there. Uh, shrimp, homemade shrimp Alfredo uh, with spaghetti squash as the pasta instead of uh, regular pasta. Let's get cooking. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash out the spaghetti squash. I'm gonna try and bust out supper while dad's got the kids outside um, since it ended up turning out to be like 65 degrees this afternoon it's a little windy but let's get this started okay so I cut the spaghetti squash in half and de-seeded it um, and is every good homesteader knows you gotta have your compost bowl not too far away when you're cooking. So next I'm just gonna take my um, spaghetti squash. So this one's a little big and it hangs off the edge, but that's okay. Um, on a nine by 13 glass pan that has some water in it and you can see, uh, it's probably like half an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the oven at 425 degrees for half an hour to 45 minutes or until it's tender. Um, until this is tender and kind of pulls apart. So let's get that in the oven. Usually my top rack isn't up that high, but that's okay. Um, and then I need to devein um, and shell my shrimp from the gulp that was given to us. Um, and then while, while I'll, I'll do that while the spaghetti squash is in there. Um, but just to kind of go over what is in my homemade Alfredo sauce. A block of cream cheese, some half and half Parmesan cheese, some garlic, and then I also put some salt and pepper and then I use this for the garlic. Um, or I use avocado oil too when I have that. Um, and honestly, this is probably one of the best investments I have made recently, a garlic press. If you don't have one, go get one. This one is a uh, Norpro and I got it at TJ Maxx. Um, but you can also find them on Target, Walmart, wherever, but this was like $4 at TJ Maxx. So I had my pan preheating um, with a little dash of olive oil. And I am just going to throw my garlic in there while it's heating and just throw in two cloves of garlic. And this, my friends, is why, ooh, don't throw it in there, but this, my friends, is why I love my garlic press. So we'll just let that preheat and um, then I'll throw this in with some of this and you can take along.
there that's been deveined and deshelled. And over here I have my sauce cooking, which this was supposed to be. Uh, the shrimp was supposed to be in here at the time, but that's okay. Um, so it's one quart. I had a one quart container of the half and half, and I probably used two thirds of it for reference. You can use more or less if you like. Um, so now I'm just going to let it simmer a little bit longer to thicken up. And then I'll add my parm some of my Parmesan cheese and salt and pepper. I just want to say our family chooses to do like meat-free Fridays. Um, so like fish, seafood, um, or just like no meat but high protein meals on Fridays. Um, but you can exchange the shrimp for chicken, steak, tofu, like whatever protein or meat you want to put in there. Or you can leave it out. Um, and you can also throw some broccoli in there too. If I was doing noodles, I would because all of our broccoli is currently frozen from our garden right now. Um, and then I would just do a quick um, like blanch with the noodles. But since I'm doing spaghetti squash, I'm going to leave the broccoli out tonight. Um, so now I'm gonna finish cooking the shrimp while stirring the sauce and waiting for the spaghetti squash to get done. And then I'll show you um, how to kind of tear apart the spaghetti squash. <laughs> 